hopefully it's not too dark. Hi John. Just finished work, so oh, I just this is obviously the boat. Can I get it in shot? It's hard to see, sorry. This is the Osage. I was mistaken, sorry, it's 48 inches uh, knock to knock. The string obviously picks up. It's about 50 inches, obviously an extra inch either side. 50 inch bow. This is the Osage. Obviously I've steam bent the tips. I think I might have done them a little bit too aggressively. And um, why are we so dark? to get the focus here. Sorry guys. I don't know what your opinion is here John. Obviously I wanted to do a gull wing like you said. I got that reference book, the Encyclopedia of Native Bows, Arrows and Quivers. It's really good to be fair. It's got loads of detailed photos or hand drawn pictures. Um, I like to make an accompanying set of arrows for this as well. Make some shorter arrows obviously for the, the shorter draw length. And sinew back it, I've decided, with that sinew that I've got. And I want it to have like longevity, I want it to, to last a long time, with it being the Osage, only Osage bow I'm probably ever going to own. Um, and I like around a 45, well, probably about a 40 pound draw weight. I shoot a lot of horse bows, don't tend to shoot long bows. Like you said in the video, um, love my horse bows, snappy little bows. I tend to find with the longbows they're quite drawn out, quite almost like a very sluggish, they feel like very sluggish to, to shoot, I find anyway, compared to these. My friend is very fond of his, his longbows. I don't mind them, I do enjoy shooting them every now and then, but it's, for me it's definitely the, the horse bows. Um, just like to get your opinion really. I've got some footage of me drawing the bow, <clears throat> no need to about a very short distance obviously. There's a little bit of twist in this limb that I need to just take out again. I'll probably have to re-steam and just take the twist out. Um, I think I need to weaken these limbs here. <clears throat> What's your opinion on these here? I imagine there's going to be a high stress point here. Not so much here. I think I need to thin this out. Kind of like the shape of it though. The little uh, What's your recommendations? What would you say? I know you said obviously down to your own opinion. It's what you want in a bow. I need some Think. Sorry about the footage, it's not ideal. Here's the bow. It's thins out there. I wasn't sure whether I have actually got a jig, I've made a jig similar to the one you've shown us. Giving a um, a gullwing style bow, but obviously with the reflex tips, whether that'd work. What I'm thinking is taking some of the the draw weight down on this, and then sinew back in it. Obviously, to give it a bit more strength. I'd be happy with a, a forty a forty pound draw weight would be ideal, really. Obviously, it's, I'd say it's probably a bit stronger currently. 
And it's not the perfect bow, obviously. There's quite a lot of run out on the grain, but it was, it's the only piece of Osage I could get my hands on. Again, it's going back a, a long time. But yeah, let me know what you think. So these are the limbs, obviously after the steam bending. I'll show you the jigs as well. So I'm not sure if that's too extreme. So I thought it'd be quite nice to have it. I did put some reflex in this. Um, very mild gull wing. Um, going back a while with the heat gun. I made, these are the jigs that I made after. Straight forward. So obviously clamp down to the table, put the, uh, the arrow limb in there and the weight of it obviously pulled it down. I just added a, a disc here and a bit of a lasso, like a weighted. Just obviously pull the, the bow down and hold it in place. And then the other jig is this one here. This was, this was what I was going to do for the gull wing. Um, but I'm not sure if that would be too much. I was looking at obviously the, the native bows and they either have the reflex tips or the gull wing. Um, they don't seem, I couldn't find any where, where they're joined. Although I have my old ash bow that I, was, I made years ago, I backed with linen. I had that, I had a reflexed, um, almost like a reflex, reflex like with a, a horse bow, like the ones I tend to shoot. And it was really nice and snappy little bow, so I'm, I'm debating about putting in uh, the gull wing again and then tilling it to suit and then sinew backing, obviously. And also, John, on your opinion, how long after sinew backing would I have to leave it before I was allowed to shoot? Um, because we're going away in a fortnight for a little getaway, me and, me and the wife, and it'd be really nice to take it with me um, to use it. So if you think that'd be suitable, then I might try and get it done by then. If not, then I might hold off on the sinew and just, like you say, reduce the weight and just practice shooting it as is. Cheers, John. Well, let us know.